I still think they will get through this round um, at least uh, quite easily. So that's the first game for me. Um, then we have a bit of a different matchup. We have the LA Clippers versus the Dallas Dallas Mavericks. So we have the Clippers led by Kawhi Leonard, um, James Harden. George, Russell Westbrook, a star-studded team, a lot of players past their peak, but still great names and lots of playoff experience against a Mavericks team, which is carried, I'm sorry, I'm saying it, carried by Luka Doncic. However, they have now added Kyrie Irving, so for that reason and for the reason that I don't think the Clippers will be able to stay healthy. I'm picking the Mavericks in seven games. Seven games. Because I just think Luka Doncic is inevitable. He is an amazing, amazing player. And with Kyrie Irving on the team, it means that if they decide to go all out defense on Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving's going to be there and he's going to be able to drop, you know, 30 points. Uh, Luka Doncic already carried them to like a conference final a few years ago and that was without Kyrie and with a worse team I just think they can't stop him to be honest and I know Kawhi's probably injured for the first game at least I think but I just look I love that team but <laughs> you know it's a toss up to me but I still think the Mavericks can edge through in that series Okay, next matchup we have the Minnesota Timberwolves versus the Phoenix Suns. Okay, so I'm going off what I picked for my bracket. Um, I picked the Phoenix Suns in six games. However, the first game has been played and Minnesota easily won. They blew the Timberwolves. I mean, they blew the Phoenix Suns out by like or something. Sorry about those stomach noises. <laughs> but um, Anthony Edwards went off um, and it just seemed like, I don't know, that team just seemed really cohesive and KD still played well for the Suns and I'm not sure what it was. I didn't watch that game. However, I'm going to stick with my pick of Phoenix in six because I just think are an amazing team. I won't be surprised if they go through. That's the thing. Especially after this first game performance. However, I think I just lean a bit towards the side of Phoenix Suns because of the power they have. Like Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, KD, you know, all them. Um, even if they lose a couple, I still kind of have some trust in them. And Minnesota are a great team. I think they just got a bad matchup in the first round. But look, they could prove me wrong easily. Like, and it's just going to have to have a great series. Which I honestly, he could easily just average 30 and they could win. And that would not surprise me that much. But you never know. This is just my prediction. Anyway, the last game. Sorry, the last matchup in the Western Conference. I have the Lakers versus the Nuggets. And this one's pretty easy. I'm giving it to the Nuggets in like, honestly, five. Five games. Five games. People are saying this is like the hardest matchup the Nuggets could have gotten. Which I kind of do agree with. But I saw the first game. The Nuggets won it. Like, I just, I don't really see that Lakers team challenging the Nuggets that much. Unless LeBron just does a LeBron and carries his team to seven games and then closes it out. Like, could happen, you never know. That's the thing about this round, they're all, like, anything could happen, which is, I really like about this year. But I'm still picking the Nuggets, Jokic, uh, Jamal Murray. And then they have like a, an amazing supporting, supporting cast. It's pretty hard to, you know, bet against them. Okay, let's go into the Western, uh, the 
Eastern Conference first round. So Miami Heat, who got in through the play-in against the Boston Celtics, who have just been dominant all year. And I have Boston Celtics in five. I think Miami might sneak one game where they'll all shoot really well, or Ty Tyler will drop 35 or something, you know. But I just don't see this Celtics team losing early in this playoff series. It's just... They're too good. Their entire lineup is great offensively and defensively, and Jimmy Butler's not playing, so it's just like I don't think they have enough to really even put up a fight. Honestly, that's my easiest matchup. Like, that's the one I'm most confident on out of all of these, to be honest. Anyway, let's go to. Orlando Magic versus Cleveland Cavaliers, and I picked Cleveland in, uh, I, I can't see what it was, but I think I picked them in either 5 or 6, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it was 5, and I watched the first game, um, and it kind of just solidified my, like, opinions about both teams, it was quite like a gritty game, uh, both teams were fighting quite hard for it, but Cleveland just seemed to be on another level skill-wise, and for this uh, Magic team to win, I think they're all going to have to really turn up defensively, and Paolo will have to average like a pretty insane stat line, because mm, yeah, I just don't see Cleveland dropping this uh, series especially because it's pretty like important for them as a franchise to win otherwise Donovan Mitchell might be out he might be out of there anyway I'm kind of speeding up because I'm taking my time Bucks versus Pacers a lot of people are having their upset upset and Pacers beating the Bucks in this series um however I'm picking the Bucks in like six games because I just cannot see Giannis I cannot see Giannis uh, dropping the, like losing in the first round especially with Damian Lillard I know Damian Lillard's not had a good season but he's like such a threat you always have to worry about him you know what I mean like he knows how to perform and he probably will um Actually, I heard something about Giannis being injured. I'm just going to check so I can verify those claims. Because I don't want to um, pick them if... Is Giannis playing in game one? Yeah, like it's kind of... It's kind of unsure. Oh, he might be missing the start of the playoffs. Well, if he's missing, if he's missing a lot of this series, I could easily see the Pacers winning. But if he plays like past game one or game two, I think they'll win it still. But that one I'm not entirely sure about, and you might have to let me know about the injury status, because I was trying to look, but yeah. Um, and then the Knicks versus the Sixers. Game one's already been played, and the Knicks um, won at home against the Sixers um, and that was without Brunson like dropping a lot of points um, it was quite like a team effort and that made me really um, believe in the Knicks because I originally picked Philly to win in like 6 or 7 um, 6 I think it was but I actually think Knicks are going to win it in 6 because I don't believe Embiid is healthy and I think he injured himself again in this game game 1 and I just I think Brunson's got what it takes, I don't think Randall being injured is that big of a hindrance to the team and I just think that that team is very well rounded and they have a good bench and they I think they have what it takes to into that series than I thought, but anyway, 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 that is 
round one, so I'm gonna kind of speed up now because, yeah, uh, round two, first we have the Thunder versus the Mavericks, I'm picking the Thunder in seven, that may be a bit biased, maybe, but I still think Shay, Jet, J-Dub, and then anyone else who decides to play, I still think they have what it takes to beat this Mavericks team, I know people talk about OKC's lack of size and their youth, um, but honestly, like, if anything happens to Luka, if he gets injured, if he misses game time, if he, like, I think OKC will take those games, and if he stays healthy, I still think this series is up for debate, I don't think it's just a write-off for the OKC Thunder, but I think this will be a really fun series to watch, a lot of hype high-paced offense and I'm very excited I know a lot of you probably hate me for that opinion but I'm taking my team in seven okay see okay so uh, and the next uh, the next the next round is Phoenix Suns and Denver Nuggets I'm taking Denver in like five honestly I think by this point if they win the first round, if they get past the Lakers, they will be kind of cruising and they will just plow through these uh, Phoenix Suns who I think will fight quite hard to get through against the Timberwolves and they'll be more injured and beaten up and stuff like that so I think they'll easily, not easily but I think they'll get through uh, then I have Celtics versus Cavs I think this is a nightmare matchup for the Cavs I know I said they won quite easily against the Magic in the previous round but I think Celtics in 5 I think they're gonna cruise through honestly I don't know how the Cavs can stop them <laughs> if they do wow but I don't see it 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 wow my dog is making a lot of noise and then I have the Bucks versus the Knicks um, I think this could be another seven game series I'd lo love the Knicks to win it um, am I going to give it to the Knicks am I going to give it to them you know what I'm going to give it to the Knicks I think they have what it takes I think Brunson is going to lock in I think he's going to perform amazingly and I think they can do it and Giannis injury status being a question mark and maybe by that first round by the end of it he'll be healthy but maybe they won't have even gone through so you never know and I don't think yeah I don't think that team's performing properly as it should right now like I think they're underperforming even if they get to this round like I don't think that's good enough for them so finally, I have the conference finals. OKC Thunder versus the Denver Nuggets. I have the Denver Nuggets in like like six, I think. Denver in six. It could be Denver in like five. However, I think OKC have challenged them throughout the year. I think they've been quite competitive um, matchups and they're not like... I just don't think they'd be able to stop Jokic. But I don't think any team can, so that's the thing. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Denver and six. I think OKC can probably take like the home games that they get. Then I have the Celtics versus the Knicks. Celtics, Knicks. Celtics, Knicks. And I have the Celtics again in like, like five, honestly. Which is crazy. I don't think the Celtics are going to drop many games. I think they're going to cruise to the finals. I think they have to, if they don't, they could always do like a Celtics classic and just lose in like the second round, but I don't think they should. And if they do, I think they have to ask questions of their coaching staff because far out the talent they, they have and the performances they show throughout the regular season, that is not, um, that should not translate to losing early in the playoffs losing to a team that you're favorited against heavily um but yeah i have the celtics and the nuggets in the final this is 
quite a matchup. We have the Nuggets, who have a chance to go back to back with Jokic having an MVP season. Then we have the Celtics, who have had a historically efficient and they have like one of the greatest like point differentials. They have had such a dominant season, such a dominant season in their conference, and they've cruised to the finals. Who is going to win? I actually have the I have the Boston Celtics. So that's that. Um, I have the Boston Celtics winning. I think it will be like a seven-game series. At least I hope it is for you know a casual, a casual, a casual enjoyment perspective. Um, my ideal final would be like okay, see Thunder versus the. Boston Celtics or the New York Knicks or something, but I doubt that's going to happen, at least this year, maybe in the future, but yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this ramble, 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 and let me know who you guys picked, or if you guys even watch the NBA, I'm sure a lot of you don't, but let me know what you think of